I'm about to line this ceiling in this room. This is a lounge I'm doing. Um, I've already prepared the ceiling. It's all been stripped, washed down, uh, all the fillings being done in it. And it's had a coat of PVA, uh, and that's just drying off at the minute. The radiator's on to uh, dry it out quicker. So, what I'm going to do is uh, mark a line across the wall over there for my first length. Always work from the natural light away from the window if you can. Um, if I was going to put an actual finished paper on this ceiling, I'd actually cross line it that way across and then put my finished paper on from the window across. But I'm only emulsioning over this lining paper so I'm going to line from the window across. So what I'm using is a um, couple of drawing pins I mean you can use little tacks sometimes it's better the plaster is a bit weak uh, and I've got some string um, you can use a snap line you can use anything you want really as long as you can get a straight line down the ceiling okay the strings up now you can see that there. and what that ensures is you get a perfectly nice straight line when you've done your pencil mark across the ceiling because um, you can't use the spirit level um, with it being up there so what I'm going to do now is mark with the pencil a load of marks down the side and then with my straight edge I'm going to join the lines up so I have a nice pencil line down the ceiling to follow with my first piece ok, I'll uh, put the pencil line on right that's the pencil line on now that'll ensure I can have a nice straight line to follow when I put my first piece on uh, and when you paper in a ceiling more so with the finished paper um, like a blown vinyl, like a ceiling paper you need to reverse your first length when you put it on the ceiling so you can actually see the line you're working on so when you put your first length on you'll be starting over here facing the light so you can actually see the line that you're putting your paper onto and then you start working off down that way yeah and then on your next piece you actually start there so you can follow the line and work back that way with every other piece so it's only the first piece you reverse that length to put on first okay that's the time up on the paper the lining paper so what you want to do is take your crook which is um, another piece of paper rolled up and taped up so what you do with that is you put it underneath your lining paper so it holds it All right and then what you need to do is on your first fold release it and have it ready to go up make sure you get your paper and brush ready and then turn it so you're facing your line make sure you've got your inch to two inches overlap on your line and then once you've got the first bit lined up in your hands that's okay you can take your, la your uh, paper hanging brush and start to spread out the paper slowly making sure you're keeping with your line and you know work side to side doesn't matter too much with lining paper but it's always best to get the bubbles from going side to side than pushing them about in the centre 
and with the finished paper you always work that way so you don't stretch the pattern. So once you're satisfied you're following the line, you can always push it so it keeps on to it. Just let it drop off and follow your line. I know you probably can't see me down this end, so I'll come up this end and show you just basically how to finish it. Right, once it's on, make sure there's no bubbles. Because I'm actually lining the walls as well, I'm only going to trim off. Well, I'm going to leave like a quarter of an inch round. So, what I'm going to do is using my finger against the ceiling to give me a space on my pencil line. Just follow it along. using your scissors you can cut that off I mean you can use a Stanley knife again but this gives you practice with your scissors and scissors don't tear the paper and leave it nice and neat sometimes you need to release a little bit before you can actually cut it with your scissors you get the right angle on it again it doesn't have to be perfect but you do want it nice and straight on this ceiling I've got to be careful about getting paste on the front of it so what I'll do is I'm going to wipe round with a cloth right that's basically it just got to wipe round with the cloth so the next length you start from that side and come this way so you're working so you can actually see where the uh, line is on where your paper is and where the pattern would go ok, okay time is up on this length take a new crop under your paper again release the fold make sure you've got your paper hanging brush ready to go and then you're going to try and do Get it on the line, making sure you've got your elbow hang. And then once you've got it on your line, you can slowly start bringing a bit off, making sure your line's butt up and not uh, overlapped. You don't have to rush at all, really. No. Just make sure there's no bubbles. And again, like I said, there's no rush. Just follow it down. Making sure your line's butt up and not overlapped. If 
you're going off your line a bit, you can always just push it over back to the line. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Thank you.